Hey you guys and welcome to another rom-com we'll be checking out for the season of Kubo Won't Let Me Be Invisible. Now I am going into the series completely blind so I'm definitely excited to see how high it will take our insulin levels up to. So yeah, let's definitely excitedly check out episode 1. When you were... But you were in it! Maybe you're in the wrong anime. Try Kuroko no Basket. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. He just didn't see behind him. Background? Why are you googling background character? Well, then you've already won in life. What are you complaining about? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But I mean, if Kuba's noticed you, if Kuba's the only one that's noticed you, I mean, isn't that already a blessing in disguise? A good athlete, mm -hmm. a good cook, a good sing. Can we try? Damn. Oh. Blackmailing. See, you do get noticed. made you the main character, in a way. Damn. Oh, come on. Wait, is this lad not like the luckiest lad? A mythical being, a search for the... SSM. I feel like Shirashi was born in the wrong anime. I mean, that could be some ninja-ass skills. Ooh, what have we done? She has given us three different versions of a pout. I cannot handle. Really? Oh my god, what have we done? What have we done? Calcium's good for anger, who I'm probably not the best thing to say at this moment. We didn't say hi to you? Oh, I was gonna say the fuck is that, but then I've had that happen to me. I love how she took the milk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So she's going to sit on you. Okay, this is way too much for episode one. <laughs> what other people would think? <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Wait, where did they disappear to so quickly? Sweetie, how did you get there? You don't... You're welcome to... She left him for an indirect kiss. And did you guys see the the... the the packaging of the straw just happens to be in a heart. Maybe you should just ask Kubo since she's quite smart. Oh, that was the reason. Yeah, that would definitely get. Nice. Oh. Totally not, okay. Oh, she's got you covered. Of course you would. But that wasn't the point. Oh. 105. Hopefully, you know the answer to five. No, he doesn't know the answer to five either. You did have the answer. Nice, nice. But we were getting pine. 
Why did you leave mid-conversation, my boy? Yeah, no, that's definitely another big tick on the anger list. The first one was a little bit, but this, this one was quite, quite a big no-no. Were you not getting the game? <gasps> but you can't get... Were you can't even get a free hand? Oh my lord. <laughs> but you buddy got a tissue. Wait, what? Seriously? Oh my god, even even technology? Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely got to get closer. Ready? No, that's not what she's getting at, but, but sure. <laughs> like, I don't think the tissues was the priority that she was talking about, but. Oh, that was such a treat for her. Of course, but I don't know it meant like that much to her. Make it your wallpaper. Is that what you really think? Of course not. Why would you think that? Oh, oh. <laughs> yes? Sure. When are you free? Movie? Cafe? Restaurant? She's waiting to... Okay, good, good. He did reply. So it's rare for Kuba to be in a terrific mood. Interesting. Oh shit, the older sister is so gonna cause trouble. So that's where she gets her teasing jeans from. What do you say? Alright, good job. I can't wait for you guys' little day as well. This series definitely does not hold back in like, you know, from the artwork of the ending to the progression because not only did we already have Kubo sitting on our boy, but then it also already being the school holiday. So it looks like next week we'll already be jumping into their first date, which, you know, is normally the 12th episode kind of big finale moment we have, but now we're definitely getting straight into things. And I definitely have to say Kubo with her little pelting, so adorable. And I also didn't expect Kubo's character to be such a big tease. But I would definitely say her teasing, I think what differentiate it from the other kind of classic teasing animes we've seen, such as maybe Teasing Master Takagi-san or Miss Nagatoro, is that Kubo's teasing is in a way all planned to make Jirashi, you know, be noticed. You know, she blackmailed Kubo to stand up in the middle of the class, which is definitely a little bit embarrassing, but you know, that got Shirashi noticed by the whole class. And then also that little classroom-like question bit where she said she doesn't know the answer, even though she did, and she passed it on to Shirashi was because, you know, Shirashi said himself that he was too nervous to answer a question in class, so that's why she stood up kind of for him obviously she didn't put him in the spotlight by directing the question to him but obviously she gave him the answer as well so like even though she does put him in the spot through her teasing it's all because she does mean well you know she does want Shidashi to be noticed by everyone else as well I think that's where her teasing style is a little bit different there obviously she loves seeing the reactions out of him but she also has a little plan of her own behind her teasing so yeah this season is definitely a rom-com war as it is packed with so many good rom-coms so definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts on the first episode of Kubo Won't Let Me Be Invisible. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, giving it a like would definitely let me know that you guys are enjoying this and would like me to continue the rest of the series. But yeah, I guess with that, make sure you guys stay awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys whenever.